big, big, big. Let's just check the camera off here for a second. A big catfish. Okay, so let's get on with that. Right, for the first thing I'm going to do with this catfish, which I've been doing, is just to remove all the slime on the outside before I cut it up. And you've got to be, can you see down there? You've got to be real careful of these things, right? These pectorals here with the barbs inside of them, right? One there and one on the other side. You don't want to get danged by those. Absolutely not in there. Otherwise, you are going to be doing a bit of moaning. Look at that bloody slime. Easy enough. Let's see what's inside this guy. Look at that. Let's have a close up of this. Come on, get the camera off and let's have a close up. I didn't have anything in its guts. Not the last one I got it was full of fish. There you go. Okay, we'll wash this up and start cutting it up. I'm going to take the head off because we want the head for a soup. But there's the head. I'll take the gills out yet and all that. Chop this off. Into cutlets. Now normally I'd probably do this with a cleaver. It's a lot easier. There you go, lots of cutlets there, lots of fish, okay. Now the other thing you've got to be careful about catfish is I'm going to take their head and use it for a soup, but in here in the gills you've got these spines in here. Okay, there are those spines there, right, so if you're not careful you're going to get them in your fingers. Okay, what I'm going to do is wash it again. <sighs> So 
some fur on these things. They've been about, they were about 10, not quite 10 minutes in the salty water. Pure sunflower oil. It's about enough, about an inch. Okay, just going to keep it warm in there. 